I'm Thomas Rupture and we're today we're tying a micro jig for the Magnolia Fly Fishers introductory fly tying course. And the micro jigs come in several sizes beginning with a 1 80th to a 1 100th to a 124th ounce jig. So they get quite small. For today's purpose, we're going, going to use the 1 80th. It's a little bit easier to see. Start by mounting it in the vise. Uh, I'm using size 6 thread, and there are many variations of this, and you can use, use almost any color, but this particular jig, something in a light brown or, or or light olive will do just fine. And we're going to wrap that on the shank of the hook. Cut off the tag in and bring that all the way back to just about before it bends and then bring it back just a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to do now is tie in the tail, which is marabou. Just pick a little, doesn't take much on a micro jig. These are usually a little skimpy. Uh, you can buy these in the store that have a lot of marabou on them. And they work just fine. But uh, I kind of like the variation of something uh, a little bit longer than the shank of the hook and what I'm going to do in this particular case because sometimes your marabou actually comes out a little short so I'll have an even body the entire length of the body I'm going to just tie that in and that way I won't have any humps or bumps in the body don't want to go into the bend of the hook because I want this to stick straight out. Whoops. And kind of still summertime, so I've still got a little sweat on my hands. Just want to make sure that's good and attached. Come right up to the end of the wrapping, let that hang. Matter of fact, I like to let it rest on the table so it doesn't bounce around. Today we're going to use uh, a dubbing that's synthetic that imitates uh, red squirrel abdomen or belly hair. Uh, it's got a little sparkle to it, which is fine. If you've got the real thing, that's even better. But some folks aren't squirrel hunters, uh, and the actual real thing's hard to come by. So what we're going to do is just take a little bit of that and we're going to dub with it. I like to get that little hook out of the way. You can use a paste if you like and sometimes I just do that for convenience but the humidity's up and everything kind of sticky so I don't think I really need it. But I'm going to wrap that and just twist it and spread it out It doesn't have to be real great because we're going to do something else to it. And I'm guessing I need just a little bit more. And this is it's easier to have or better to have too much than not enough. So now what I'm going to do is put my finger there. I want that to come closer. Pull that thread right back to the same spot wrap that all the way to the head. You can use a paper clip, you can use very, several different tools made for this, but now we're just going to twist that. And what that does, it locks it in there. So that dubbing is not going anywhere now. Uh, there's several different ways of doing this. If you have a vise that has an arm on it, you can stretch it out like that and get the 
Move the other way. And this is the easiest way to do it. And you can already see I've mashed the marabou down. Don't want to do that. And I'm just making one wrap. If you want your body thicker, which there's really no need for it, you could add more dubbing and uh, wrap over what you've just done. Tie that off several rounds, make sure it's in there good and tight. Clip it. Whip finish holds this better, and I'd usually do two or three. And you can glue that if you need, feel like you need to, but you really don't need to. There was a time that I would paint these lead heads. I found that really doesn't make much difference. Uh, but you can paint those. You can get them already painted. You can get them gold-plated, silver-plated. Uh, experiment with them. But that's a micro jig. Very easy to tie.